Kill Karen 16. Kill Karen 16 2022. Yes, that's right. The brand new Kill Karen 16. Can't wait to share it with you, folks. I've tried all these batches. I'm really looking forward to this one. The first batch one was 98% ex bourbon, 2% Madeira. Second one was 75% bourbon, 25% sherry. This one is 70% bourbon, 30% sherry. So the sherry has been ramped up a little bit. The great thing with this, this whiskey is it's not a typical 16. It varies from batch to batch, so which is fantastic. It always keeps me on my toes. Always keeps me looking out for this 16. It's fantastic that Kilkenna are doing that. So, is it any good? We're about to find out, folks. I'll be right back. Wow, Campbelltown, one of my greatest places on earth, Glengyle, Springbank, Kilcairn, yes, the Kilcairn 16. I wasn't overly well with the last year's one, but let's not bear any grudges. I'm looking forward to trying this one, as a bit more sherry in it. Uh, I have spent a Last few days over the weekend with it, getting to know it. 70% bourbon, 30% sherry. A wee bit more sherry. Before all you haters dive into the comments and say I'm only liking it because there's more sherry. It's not the case. I'm liking it because it's Kilkerran. Yeah, I'm a big Kilkerran fan, guys. Oh, look at that colour. Beautiful natural colour. 46% ABV. Non-chill filtered and natural colour. Integrity bottle. All the boxes ticked. A lovely, lovely kind of mid gold colour. Yeah, it's probably just gold. Just before I get into it, folks, a little bit of housekeeping to take care of. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. If you're so happy to pop in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've landed on the right channel. You may want to click that big red button down here. Yes, this big red thing. Just a friendly reminder from me to thee, it still doesn't cost you a penny. Still completely free. And you're still helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 6k. Housekeeping done. Whiskey time. I paid £70 for this one this time. I think when I bought batch one it was 54 Batch two was £60 and now batch three £70. So I'm a wee bit concerned that from batch to batch they're just getting more expensive I think it's just the way the world is at the minute everything's getting expensive 16 year old at 70 pound it's starting to get to a point where it might become a problem at the minute it's not a problem for me because I'm hoping to enjoy this and I'm hoping to share it with you so we'll come back to the, the money a little bit later on after I've tasted it knows it wow typical Kilkerran 16 lemony Orangey, citrus up front, a little bit of smoke in the background, distant smoke, some tropical fruit, banana, melon, apple. But here's, here's where I think the sherry comes in. There's a wee bit more sherry on the nose of this one, so I think it's bringing a wee bit more red fruit. I think it's bringing a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of strawberry maybe a little bit of orchard fruit coming through with this one but i think the biggest thing that's changed i think that what the sherry is bringing the sherry is definitely bringing chocolate to this one much more chocolate than before but i think it's it's like a chocolate bar with a soft center so it's got like a strawberry center it's got maybe a raspberry center there's a little bit of orange in here as well, so there's maybe a chocolate covered orange centre in here as well, which is fantastic. Before you switch off, and here it's too chocolatey, it's too sweet. The typical multi characters there. Last year's one was full of breakfast cereal, digestive biscuit. This still has the digestive biscuit, it's still malty, 
but I think it's a chocolate covered digestive this time rather than just a digestive. Last year's one was much more lemon pie, lemon cheesecake. This is more kind of chocolatey, chocolate, soft centered chocolate, maybe a, a chocolate bar. So definitely that, it's the smoke's there, the maritime's there, there's a little bit of saltiness in there as well, you can smell a little bit of sea salt. But it's lovely, lovely, a little bit of pepper in there as well, maybe black pepper. A little bit of ginger, but it's very, very chocolatey. But as we know on the channel guys, it's not all about the nose. Let's see how it tastes, and you know where we're going to send it. Straight down the hatch. Responsibly, of course. Cheers, folks. Okay. If you were sipping on this for the first time, it's it's a soft arrival, but then it the intensity builds, but it comes very, very spicy. I've had a few of these tonight. I've been practicing a little bit with it. I spent some time with it tonight. So I'm a wee bit more acclimatised. But initially when you first sip it, it's very, very intense, very spicy, big spicy kick at the beginning. But the difference with this one, there's lots of ginger, maybe a wee bit hot. But as you take sip after sip, it becomes much more acclimatised, much more easier to sip. But the difference with this one is it's, compared to the others, it's much more confectionery. There's a big, big confectionery note going on here. It's pear drops, it's lemon drops, but at the same time, as you sip it, it's very, very fizzy. So it's like a sherbet, lemon sherbet, raspberry sherbet. Lots of confectionery notes. Those sweets are there. Here comes the, the typical, the the cereal notes are more kind of chocolate digestive. The toffee's coming in, the honey's coming in, the sticky toffee, the sticky honey, apple, red apple. The toffee is now becoming more toffee pie, whereas the last one was more kind of lemon cheesecake, lemon pie. This is more toffee pie. Something toasty's in there as well. Can't quite put my finger on it, but it's something toasty. I think with the toffee and the red apple coming in, I think there's a there's a toffee apple note coming in. There's a sticky toffee apple. Heading towards the finish, there's some licorice. It's gone a little bit minty now as well. There's a little spearmint note in there as well. Head to the finish. Let's do the finish, folks. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera folks right I'm trying not to get excited I'm trying to whenever I get excited my sound goes and my camera just starts playing tricks with me and I get over the odds but I'm trying to hold back but this is such a wonderful piece of work this could be a dangerous whiskey it's getting easier and easier and easier to sip and there's so much going on. In fact, that confectionery you note, know, what it what it's reminding me of now, and I don't want to do the Forrest Gump impersonation, but it's reminding me of a box of chocolates. It's very chocolatey, but it has a toffee center, it has a biscuit center, it has a raspberry center, it has an orange center. It just reminds me of a box of chocolates going on in there, but at the same time, there's much more around it. It's salty, it's sea breeze, it's it's maritime, it's smoky. There's maybe a I'm not getting a coffee centre in there, but I'm thinking there's a smoky, maybe a smoky centre rather than a coffee centre. There's just so much going on. Let's do a bit for the finish, folks, and I'm getting myself gone. I'm I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. What a wonderful piece of work. Everything there's so much going on. I think that the, compared to last year's one, it's, yes, it's different. Yes, but there's so much more going on in this one. And, and I, I think the sherry's bringing that. It's okay having all that bourbon. 
cask finish, but the I think the the sherry's bringing more to the table here. So I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Let's just do a quick finish and we'll get going. A little bit of dryness on the finish. Smoky. Spicy. Wow, it's just so nice. Such, such a nice whiskey. The price, I'm not going to get into the price anymore. I think I've said enough on the price. But the what'd we score it? What'd we score this one? I think last year's one I was gonna score it an 88 and I bumped it up to an 89 at the last minute. But this one I've got no illusions. I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. Guys, folks, ladies, gents, I'm going to score this a 91 out of 100, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, loving it. Hope you enjoy it. Guys, dive in the comments. Have you tried this Kilkerran 16? Have you tried the others against them? I might actually do a battle going forward. I'm going on holiday for a couple of weeks, guys, so when I come back from holiday... I might put these side by side, semi-blind. I might even do the three of them. The three batches, blind, side by side. See how we get on. But I think this is my favourite. Before you dive onto the sherry haters, it's not because it's more sherry. It might be because it's more sherry, guys. I'm just enjoying this one more than I think the other two did. Dive into the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Love to engage in the thoughts. I'm Alan. I'm the whiskey friend. Don't forget to send great whiskey down the hatch. Responsibly, of course. And always remember, the pleasure is in the sharing. And until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.